What's up guys, it's your super players back at it again with another video and it's your host Tony G with another market watch. I know we didn't drop it yesterday, but we're dropping it today because we were out of town, three day weekend, we're gonna have some fun. So we're gonna start off with some cards or some secret rares that I thought would never have gone up in price, but now they're being bought out. The buyouts are still continuing. If you guys haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend everyone looking at it and definitely Definitely checking out all the SPRs you can think of because all of them are going up in price and I wish I could cover every single one, but that's for another video. But and don't forget, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe for more awesome market watches for in the near future, obviously. So definitely welcome. So we're gonna start off with Miraculous Fighter SS3 Gogeta. Everyone, this card got some, <laughs> it, it's not that good. <laughs> this is not like the best look, like not the best SER, but it looks so sick. And this card was sitting at $96. It was way cheaper than that. I bought this card when it was 30 bucks. And to see it go up to $200 is insane. There's been buyouts, guys, like I said. Look at all these guys. They're all selling it for 135, 200, 300, and it's probably gonna be listed for probably $200, guys, because one, this card wasn't that easy to pull, to be honest. And not only that, it, it's one of the few secret rares that is fully covered in gold, which is pretty cool in my opinion. This is one of the only ones that I've noticed that like everything is gold, which is so sick on its own. And it, there's like an error too, because you could there's like a little dot here. They didn't put the plus one, so they had to errata it technically. But yeah, this is one of the, the those cool SCRs, but we have it at 135 in TCG player. But some of you guys were asking me, I want to see a... a uh, uh, eBay and TCG display of like how much does it go for so right now eBay has it for 600 if you want a PSA grade in nine But if you want anything else, you're probably gonna drop at least to 200 250 Cheapest like right here 850 for buy it now. So offer your best offer everybody even the non foil one Look at that guys is sitting at $48 Holy cow. I didn't expect it to be that expensive either. Holy cow but yeah, it's pretty pretty pricey, man. I mean, you're gonna be dropping some major coin on it. There's a bidding right here for 26 bucks, so good luck to you guys if you bid. But then we're gonna go on to the next one, which is Vegito Warrior from Another Dimension. I think this is a funny price, six nine six nine dot six nine cents. But you know, that's just guy being a troll. But obviously, the cheapest one is 119, and someone's just trolling everybody. It's uh, a <laughs> this pricing, but. $120 guys, it's bought out. This is another secret rare that was sitting at 79. Week before that was sitting at 50. I highly recommend picking them up when they're 50 bucks guys, or even less. Just buy them because looking how the game's going in the near future, they're probably gonna be expensive. And then we have in an eBay, 350, 250, 195. Another SCR that was 30, 40 bucks, past the $200 mark. So definitely, recommend getting them when they're cheap like this one i bought this one not too long ago for 30 shout out to the super play that actually sold me this one i bought it for 40 bought 40 dollars it was sitting at 50 but he offered me 40 i was like cool thanks man and see it was 58 it was cheaper than that but now it's at 100 dollars. i see this also going up to probably 120 to 30 bucks because one there's not that many of them right now and two it's another ser guys all the ser's are all sitting above 150 bucks now and PyCon is a very unusual SER for sure. Like it's not playable in a lot of decks. You can use it, but it's not the most optimal SER for sure. But it's sitting at $89.99. I think that's a really good price. I would buy it at that, at that price because you're gonna be paying a pretty penny in the near future for like, probably like within two weeks. It's probably gonna go up another $100, $100 or even $50. So I recommend picking it up now. Even on eBay, it's sitting at $190, $160, 100 99 95 and there's not that many listings guys ebay is probably the cheaper route if you want to get on ebay but i also think it's way cheaper on tcg player they're both about the same and then we move on to ultra instinct sun goku the unstoppable this card got reprinted guys i don't understand why it's expensive it was 14 dollars now it's 65 but i think this one looks way better than the the one you get in the uh, anniversary box or was it the anniversary box something like that and yeah, I like this one way better because one, the texture of foiling looks sick. The other one's cool, but this one's just, this is way harder to pull in my opinion. I think that's why this one's a lot more expensive because this SR was pretty hard to pull. Couldn't get them all the time. And it's a very strong card. 
If you guys don't know, he bounces back, negates an attack. You could have negated an attack and bounce a battle card. Or you could counterplay it and play it with their encounter step, which is pretty awesome. And then we go on to, I couldn't find some of these on eBay either, so which was kind of weird. Then we have Great Ape Son Goku. This one dropped a lot. I wanted to mention this one because it was sitting at 50 bucks, but now it's at 34 being the cheapest. And people aren't really using it a lot. I still think it's a very phenomenal card. I recommend using it. It's still very strong. But another card that I thought would have probably stayed at like $30, $40. Obviously, you got the reprinted um, Unison Warrior Champion Pack one. But you also have this draft box one, which is still not bad. It's sitting at 50, but on e I also couldn't find it on eBay. It was 34 being the cheapest. I think that's a pretty solid offer. If you don't have a playset, I think you guys could get some at this price. I, I recommend it. You get the Tony G stamp of approval. <laughs> and then we move on to the next card that I thought was interesting was the Mass Saiyan Bardock Unbound by Darkness. This is the big cards. I'm surprised a lot of people aren't selling these because they were very limited. First, they're limited and not a lot of people had these. And a lot of them are like cheap right now, except this one. It's at $120. If you find them cheap, guys, buy them. I highly recommend buying them because they're collector items and there's not that many on the market or in the market. I'm just telling you that right now. I bought all of them already when they were really cheap. Shout out to Marcus. He actually sold me a good portion of them. And they were selling for like 10 bucks a pop. Now they're going up in price because there's not that many in the market and they were pretty hard to get. You have to top, I think, top four to get these, I think, or go to a specific event in order to get these. And if you went to that event, it was like a nationals, you were able to get these. So even then, it was only that that day that you get you could get them. But I recommend, if you find them for cheap, I say buy them. Here, Gogeta, this card was sitting at 13, guys. This card is banned, first of all. Too good of a card, but they're all sold out. <laughs> all sold out, all SBRs are sold out. But lucky for you, I found it on eBay. And eBay, it's $75, only one listing. At that price, everything else is like place your bids or offer your best offer. I think buying it on eBay is probably the better route if you want to get it. Because uh, there's none in TCG players. So recommend getting it there. And then we move on to the next card is SS2 Trunks Heroic Prospect. This card went down in price and now it's going up again. Sitting at $100 even though there's a reprint coming soon when you buy Battle Evolutions. I think that pack you're allowed. I think it's going to be one of these cards you can get. Not this exact one, but the non-foil one so you'll be able to get it and then we have ss3 tag team sun gohan another card that i thought was really good a lot of black uh decks are using this very strong it's pretty cheap i recommend picking this up so i wanted to mention this card and there you guys have it let me know in the comment section if there's any cards i might have missed and don't forget to smash that like button and comment a card you want to see and like always y'all stay super